side. Right now on the phone, we have Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, who is able to talk to us and hopefully offer more details. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you must be really disturbed by what happened tonight. Your thoughts? Absolutely, I'm disturbed. Two uh, police officers, one Buffalo police officer, one New York State trooper struck by a vehicle. Both were transported to ECMC. I'm told that both police officers are in stable condition. Also in the vicinity of Bailey and Langmire, two people struck by gunfire. Both of them have been transported to ECMC, where one of those individuals is in surgery as we speak. Mr. Mayor, what has your leadership been able to tell you about what transpired previous to this event where the two officers were hit by that car? Was there an altercation between the protesters and the officers themselves? What went down? Uh, still under investigation, uh, there was uh, no altercation uh, that uh, precipitated uh, the vehicle um, mowing into police officers, but that is still under investigation. This protest was called for a uh, period of time. Uh, that period of time had expired. Uh, it is my understanding that the organizers of the protest then officially ended it and left. Uh, some stayed after. Uh, they were allowed to continue to peacefully protest. And as night began to fall, uh, they were asked to leave by the police. And there were some individuals that refused to leave. And I want to make it very clear that we cannot have people protesting in the city of Buffalo after dark. That is not safe for the protesters, and that is not safe for the surrounding community. Mr. Mayor, will you call then for a curfew uh, at dusk or at 9 o'clock, as you have in previous nights, uh, so that these types of incidents don't happen in the future? Well, we will, um, we will make that decision and announce it tomorrow. Uh, this protest was uh, scheduled uh, to end in the daytime hours, and the official organizers that call the protest uh, as I understand it, did end it. And uh, those official organizers did leave. Others stayed behind. Uh, their actions as they stayed behind uh, were unsanctioned by the organizers. And we just can't have people out in the community uh, freewheeling it, uh, doing anything that they want to do that cannot be allowed, it can't be tolerated. And I'm calling on the community uh, to really be responsible to keep each other safe. And Mr. Mayor, what about the car that mowed those two officers down? Were officers able to pursue it? Is there anyone in custody who was driving that vehicle? Uh, I believe uh, that the two uh, people that were struck by gunfire in the vicinity of uh, Langmire and Bailey uh, were two of the individuals that were in that vehicle uh, that mowed into the police line. But again, this is still under investigation. Uh, this is still very fresh, uh, and police are working very diligently to piece all of this together. But then to your knowledge, the people responsible for mowing police down are not at large then. That's your understanding? No, they are, they are not at large. Um, uh, 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 one is in custody, I believe, and uh, two have been transported to ECMC, and one is in surgery. All right. It has, again, been a very disturbing and heart-wrenching scene uh, to watch this unfold on Buffalo streets tonight. But Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, we appreciate your joining us tonight. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you, Mary Alice.